Hello, Internet peoples of the Internet. My name is Tortoise, and we are back once again with another castaway. Woo! We are here on what I think is my personal island. I think I finally got a set up, but like I definitely did not make this. So I'm a little confused. Um, it says rented 24 days by Marv. <laughs> okay, so. This isn't my personal island either. Like, he has so much stuff here. Can I just, like, steal things? Like, I I'm gonna put it back. But, yeah, I just have access to all his things. But I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna steal anything. Here, I'm actually- I'll give him- I'll give him some cooked pork chop. There you go, man. I'll leave you a little present, Marv. Um, but sorry for invading your personal island. I really thought I would have been teleported to mine, but... I guess I'm on Marv's for now. Uh, look, this got a cool- Little house here. He's got a chandelier. Well, this is fancy. I like this house. Maybe I can move in with him. Hopefully he won't mind that I'm just like walking through and looking through all his stuff. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a cool house though. I like this. I'm just gonna look around, you know? Um, I'm not gonna build anything because obviously this is someone else's personal island, but definitely check it out and stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm actually a little lost. How do we get out? Okay, we got it this way. But yeah, last episode, um, we left the question, uh, what your favorite movie was. So we're going to be answering that today. Um, along with, you know what, I was going to just build on my personal island, but since, like, this isn't mine, he's got some kind of, like, redstone contraption going on. I don't know, I, like, redstone stuff always confuses me. I, like, it boggles my mind, like, the kinds of things you can do with redstone. But we're just going to answer questions, and maybe we'll just swim over to other people's islands and just check out to see what other people have built. Um, because I don't know where mine is, and hopefully maybe we could just, like, maybe come across mine and we could start it. Maybe mine's over there, because that one looks empty. Maybe we'll go check that one out. We'll go, like, in a clockwise, um, direction. But yeah, I asked you guys what your favorite movie was, and we got one from Abdul Sheikh, Sheikh, who says, I love the Harry Potter series and the Rush Hour series. They're both so awesome. I recommend you watch these. I think you'll love Rush Hour because it's a really funny comedy. I love Rush Hour. Um, all three of them, I'm 99% sure there's three Rush Hours, and, um, I actually, like, every time a new Rush Hour would come out, I would be so happy. I don't even know how old those movies are, actually. They're pretty old, though, but, like, uh, Jackie Chan and uh, Chris Tucker, oh my god, those movies were the best. I had, like, such a good, like, actual, like, fight scenes. It's so well choreographed, because, of course, it's Jackie Chan. He always has, like, the best, uh, fight scenes, and his, I love the fight scenes from Rush Hour or any Jackie Chan movie because not only are they like what like really like well choreographed and like actiony but they're like really funny and unique like Jackie Chan has some of like the most unique fight scenes I've ever seen so yeah I love Rush Hour uh, Harry Potter series is awesome remember when I was little I'd read all the books and stuff um I think I read like the first four and after that I was just like you know what I'm I'm just gonna watch the movies and then uh excuse me after that I was just watching the I just kept to watching the movies but of course I did like all my book reports on um all the Harry Potter books until like they made a rule like that you couldn't um write your book reports on Harry Potter movies anymore because or Harry Potter books because just literally everyone was doing it and then you could just watch the movie anyway so um, I had to find other books to read um right, if you have it if you guys have ever read The Giver like oh that was my favorite book ever and then they had the one uh like Chasing Blue or something and they had another one Remember, I, watched, I read, like, two of those in one day, but I think that was my favorite uh, book series that I've ever um, read. Uh, that should be the question for this episode, though. What is your guys' favorite book? <laughs> well, that's actually good. I just thought of that. So, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll say that again at the end of the episode, but I think that'll be the question uh, for this episode. But we also have one from Dom Phillips who says, My favorite is Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back. I actually... I've seen maybe a couple... Of the Pokemon movies, um, I remember I saw, of course, the first one, um, which I think is amazing. Like that first Pokemon movie is so good. Like, oh my, I cried. I think that's the first time I ever cried in a movie. Um, I won't say why though, because spoilers. If you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely go watch the first uh, Pokemon movie. But I haven't seen Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back. I didn't even know that existed. So I'm actually I might want to go uh, watch that because I love Mewtwo as a character. Um, who's plotting are we on now? Boat Fishing Dock. Oh, I can just look through people's stuff. Okay, so I can't look through these guys' stuff. Because I think it's, like, protected and stuff. Um, but he's got an interesting little farm area. I like the house. How it's, like, elevated and stuff. But, yeah, the Pokemon movies are awesome. Um, so, 
I'm trying to think what other ones I saw. I saw some of the newer ones. So, like, I actually skipped, like, so many Pokemon movies. I don't even know how many Pokemon, Pokemon movies are out there. Um, I'm trying to think. Because I think they do one for each generation, I think. And there's, what, like, seven generations? I th- uh, maybe? So, I'm actually really wrong. Probably wrong about that. But if you guys know how many uh, there are, please let me know. Because I'm actually a little curious. I might just Google it after. Um, got another one from Samantha S- uh, Steuben, who says, My favorite movie is and will always be Nightmare Before Christmas. I grew up on that movie. Oh, yes. I remember when that movie first came out. So many people were obsessed with it because it was so good. Um, I actually saw it really late. Like, I remember it was out for like a few months and, and everyone just like nonstop talk about um, the Nightmare Before Christmas. And be like, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna check this movie out and yeah it was indeed awesome it did live up to the hype because it was just so unique like I still don't know if it's a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie it's kind of both like you could you could watch the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas on Halloween or Christmas and then like either way it, it you know you're good to go I think I think that's like the only movie you can do that with but yeah that is a very awesome movie I've only seen it once though that's that's what I usually do with movies um I like rarely watch a movie more than once because I don't know it's like it's never the same as your first time watching it right where you don't know anything don't know what to expect and I know like so many people and some of my friends will watch a movie like three four seven times and stuff just over and over again and I don't know I never got that like I've always just been like watch a movie once and then like yeah okay what's the next one I can watch right um this is actually like really cool is this the Krabby Patty or the the Krusty Krab I mean are they so cr- Krabby Patties like this this looks like uh this is totally is. This is the Krusty Krab. Oh my god, someone made the Krusty Krab. This is amazing. Oh, it'd be so much better if it was underwater, though. Though there would be just water rushing in. Probably couldn't do that. But this is really cool. You can have fish, a Krabby Patty, kelp fries, puffer fish brugs, grapple, special meat. What is the special meat? Oh god, it's probably a reference to an episode that I don't remember. Super deal and soda. Okay, so is Squidward here? Where's Spongebob? He's back here working the grill. And this is Mr. Krabs' office. Oh my god, they totally have the layout down. This is so amazing. And this is where they keep the secret formula. Oh my god, can we get the secret form- formula? Uh, it's locked. Oh, I need Plankton's help. He can help me get it. Oh my god, this is awesome though. Wow. Someone made the Krusty Krab. Woo. What is this over here? What? This is just like a giant like diving board? What is up here? Oh my god. What, what is this for? Wait, who made this? Who made this? Rented by Kitty Kent 0505. All right, so we got another answer from uh, GTA. It uh, says, My favorite movie is Silent Hill because the graphics are really good and it's two hours and the guy that films it is a pro just like you, Tardis. Tardis, keep up the good videos. It's pretty good and screw the haters. Silent Hill is so terrifying. Oh my god, I remember when I first watched that movie, like, I was, I've never been so scared watching a movie before, it's just so creepy, oh my god, but yeah, Silent Hill is a really good movie, I don't know, I think they have what, they made a second one, but I actually didn't like the second one, I thought the second one was kind of cheesy, but it has the actor from uh, Game of Thrones in it, who plays Jon Snow, and that's actually, I watched that before I watched Game of Thrones, it's like, oh man, I hate this actor, it's like, so cheesy, but in, in Game of Thrones, he's so amazing, so I guess it was just like the director or whatever, the writing in it. Um, that just, you know, goes to show like how important writing and directing is um, when it comes to like acting. Because if you have a good script and a good director, um, you can make actors look really, really good, which is really important. But yeah, um, Silent Hill was awesome. Um, I think I played a couple of the games, which are equally as creepy. Um, but I think the scariest movie I've ever seen was um, the first Paranormal Activity. I actually saw that in theaters with my friends. And the people were like, oh, that movie's not even scary. Dude, I was so terrified while watching that movie. Oh, my God. Like, because it just felt so real, right? And immersive. Um, which is, like, something that a lot of horror movies have hadn't done up to that point. Or Except the Blair Witch Project kind of does that. Where it's kind of like the found footage style of movies. Um where, like, you know, it's just some, someone holding a camera and they're kind of documenting it. And it just feels so real that way. So, yeah, Silent Hill is a really good uh, film. And then we got another one from Romy Aitken, who says, Mine is Transformers 4 because it's awesome and I love Bumblebee. Transformers gets a lot of hate from people 
because um, it's like the story is bad, the plot, the writing and stuff. But one thing that Transformers is amazing at is it's CGI. Like, there's CGI and special effects. Like, they're so good at blending it. And, like, the animators who animate the Transformers, like, they're godly. Like, the like the studios who actually animate and, like, make the models and, like, just do all that crazy stuff. Because just imagine trying to move all those tiny little parts. Like, that is insane. It blows my mind. That's why I enjoy all the Transformers movies. Because, like, the just the fight scenes and the special effects and everything and the animating. Like, it blows my mind. And that's the reason people see Transformers movie. You don't see it to see, like, a deep, like crazy story right that's gonna make you question life that's not it's not what kind of movie it is you just gotta go into it with the right expectations i think but uh, i do really enjoy the transformers movie and i love um just movies that really handle cgi really well um because a lot of people really don't like cgi but it's not the cgi that makes movies bad like sure people make bad cgi but you can't blame cgi for bad movies it's like blaming a pencil for drawing a bad picture right like it doesn't make any sense cgi is just a tool it's the artist um who uses the pencil like that's who you gotta blame like cgi in the right hands can be absolutely amazing and the best cgi you won't even notice it's cgi like there's so much cgi that just goes over people's heads and they just like never give it credit right um so i think cgi definitely deserves a lot more recognition than it gets um just because a lot of bad cgi just gives it a really bad name but um yeah i love those types of movies where it, you just get lost in a world and they're just like they just make things that otherwise wouldn't be possible like i remember i think the new jungle book movie uh is coming out and i think that like 99 percent of that movie is cgi and it's just like a, the only thing that's not is this is the little kid who uh the actor in it like and then everything else is just completely cgi like all the sets and everything like, the whole movie was, like, shot in a studio, um, like, in front of a green screen, which blows my mind because it looks so good. So I'm actually really excited for the new Jungle Book movie. I think it's directed by John Favre, I think. He, like, directed Iron Man and stuff, like, the first one, I think. So I think that one's going to be super good. I'm not sure when it comes out, though, but I'm really excited about that. Um, and I'm just <laughs> randomly checking out everyone's plots over here or their little islands. But yeah, um, thank you guys for everyone who submitted a question. The uh, next, or the, they submitted their answers. Yeah, their answers to my question. Um, but my next question for this episode will be, oh my god, I already said it before. Yeah, what are, you, what are your guys' favorite books? Like, I know a lot of people like don't like reading, but I think you just need to find the right book to read in order to... You know, because it's like saying, oh, I don't like movies. Like, no, well, there's a movie for everyone. Same thing with video games. There's a video game for everyone. You just got to find the right one. And then you just fall in love because, you know, books are just so relaxing. If you just, like, lay in bed and maybe it's, like, super stormy out and you have, like, a nice cup of hot cocoa, right? That just sounds so relaxing to me. Or even, like, if you guys like uh, reading mangas or comic books or graphic novels, like, that counts, too. So we don't have to just go with uh, books or, like, novels. Like, your favorite book, right? So it can even be, um, like... Um, I remember for Christmas, Sam got me the One Punch Man uh, manga, and I've just been reading that in bed. It's just been so cool. Even though I've seen all uh, the episodes, um, that's just been really, really fun to just read uh, and just lay in bed. And it's just been so relaxing. And if you guys haven't seen One Punch Man, you need... Oh, oh, wait, hold on. F5. You guys need to watch One Punch Man. It is the greatest anime of all time. Like, I love it so much. Like, the fight scenes are just so epic, paired with just hilarious writing and characters. Like, it's just a parody of just other like uh crazy animes like dragon ball z and stuff and naruto it's just oh it's just so amazing and i love it um so if you guys uh, have not seen one punch man please check it out because it is so good but i think that is it for now guys thank you for watching this uh, movie this isn't a movie oh guys i'm so sorry excuse me like i like just ate so i'm just like all bubbly and stuff so excuse me for the horrible commentary but thank you guys for watching um i'll see you guys next episode and I love you all.